As time passed in Coleman's Cop, the buildings fell into disrepair and were slowly reclaimed by the sand. So the decay that we see here at Coleman's Cop is not specific to this place. In fact, it's happening all over the universe. Things become more disordered, they don't become newer. And that's a very fundamental thing. Why is it? The arrow of time dictates that things turn to disorder, rubble and dust. They get old. It's a fundamental part of our experience of the world. But remarkably, the reason why this happens turns out to be so simple, it can be explained with nothing more than a bucket of sand. So why is it that we always see things getting more disordered, not less disordered? Uh, why is it that there appears to be this arrow of time always talk, pointing towards more disorder? Well, to demonstrate it, let's make a sandcastle. So if I want to make an ordered structure like a sandcastle, I must make, that all, make sure that all my sand is in the right place. Let's see how it comes out. This sand castle is an ordered structure because the grains of sand have to be arranged in a specific order to make them look like a castle. So if we leave our sand castle overnight, grains of sand are gonna get blown off. There's a tiny but finite probability that another grain of sand will be blown in to exactly replace each one of those grains of sand that was blown off our sand castle. That that's incredibly unlikely. For that to happen, each grain of sand would have to be blown into a specific place. What's more likely is the wind will just blow the sand into a disordered pile and make a sand dune. That's because to form a dune, the sand grains could fall pretty much anywhere. If I want to make a sand dune, a baby sand dune, I can throw the sand down basically anywhere I want, and I'll end up with something that's a reasonable approximation to a, a sand dune. So it's not impossible for an ordered structure like a sand castle to spontaneously form on the wind. It's just very unlikely. So because it's so incredibly unlikely, it explains why we just don't see that sort of thing happening in our everyday life. So this, of course, doesn't just apply to sand castles. In fact, it applies to everything in the universe. Things will always get more disordered with time. It's a fundamental law of nature that physicists call entropy. The fact that uh, everything is getting more disordered with time gives time a a concrete direction that distinguishes past from future. Past was more ordered, the future is inevitably going to be more disordered. Because disorder is always increasing, the past will always look different to the future. And that's what gives time its arrow. <laughs> 